In this video, we graph the reciprocal functions for sine, cosine, and tangent. First, we look at the function y equals sine of x. The reciprocal function is y equals 1 over the sine of x. To graph it, we select points on the graph of the sine function, keep the same x value, and find the reciprocal of the y value. To start, here's a point where y equals 1. The reciprocal is 1 over 1, which is 1. So the reciprocal has the same y value as the original function. They both pass through that same point. Next, we look at a point where y equals 1 half. The reciprocal of that, 1 over 1 half, is 2. So for the same x value, we have a y value of 2 on the graph of the reciprocal. The same applies to the next point with a y value of 1 half on the sine curve. The reciprocal has a y value of 2 for this as well. The sine curve passes through the origin, where both x and y are 0. 1 over 0 is not defined, so the reciprocal does not have a point with an x value of 0. Instead, it has a vertical asymptote. The reciprocal curve does not touch or cross the asymptote. It approaches it, but does not touch. The same thing happens where x is pi. The y value is 0. So 1 over the y value does not exist, the reciprocal function does not exist, and we get another asymptote. We can sketch a curve through these three points approaching the asymptotes. This curve looks a little bit like a parabola, but it is not actually a parabola. Parabolas don't have asymptotes. There are asymptotes in every place where the sine curve has a y value of 0. Between these asymptotes, we get more of these u-shaped curves. Here's another point with a y equals 1. So the reciprocal is also y equals 1. There are two more points with a y of 1 half. The reciprocal there is 2. We can sketch a curve through these points approaching the asymptotes, and it looks just like the first one. We have one of these u-shaped curves every time the sine curve has an upper peak. On the lower part of the sine curve, all of the y values are negative. For example, here's a point with a y value of negative 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is also negative 1. So this is another point that's on both the sine curve and the reciprocal curve. When the y value of sine is negative 1 half, the reciprocal is negative 2. We find another point with these same values, and again, we can sketch a curve. There's another one of these upside down u curves at each low point on the sine function. The purple graph is the reciprocal of y equals sine x. It is written y equals cscx. Its name is cosecant. Like the sine function, cosecant is periodic and continues forever to the left and the right. Next, we graph the reciprocal function for cosine. This is very similar to sine. We find the points where y equals 1. The reciprocal of 1 is 1, so cosine and its reciprocal share these points. Then we find the points where cosine is 0. 1 over 0 is undefined, so the reciprocal has vertical asymptotes at these values of x. We find a few points where cosine is 1 half, making the reciprocal equal to 2, and now we're ready to sketch a curve. We get the same U-shaped curve at each upper peak of cosine. The lower parts of the cosine graph are similar. We find where y equals negative 1. 1 over negative 1 is negative 1, so cosine and its reciprocal share these points. Where cosine has a value of negative 1 half, the reciprocal has a value of negative 2. We connect the dots, and now we have the reciprocal of the cosine. This is called the secant function. It is written y equals secx. Secant looks a lot like cosecant, but they're not exactly the same. Finally, we find the reciprocal for tangent. Here are some points where tangent has y equals 1, so the reciprocal is on the same points. Similarly, where y equals negative 1, 1 over negative 1 is still negative 1, so these are points on the reciprocal. Where y equals 0, 1 over 0 is not defined, so the reciprocal has vertical asymptotes at those values of x. Here are some points where the tangent has y equals 1 half, so the reciprocal has y equals 1 over 1 half, which is 2. Similarly, where the tangent has y equals 2, the reciprocal has y equals 1 over 2. We can sketch curves through these points approaching the asymptotes. On the lower part of tangent, we find points with y equals negative 1 half. 1 over that's negative 2 which gives points on the reciprocal. When tangent has y equals negative 2, the reciprocal has y equals negative 1 half. We can sketch curves through these points approaching the asymptotes. Finally, we consider the points where tangent is not defined. 
such as at x equals pi over 2. To the left of pi over 2, tangent is positive, so 1 over that, the reciprocal, is also positive. Tangent is approaching infinity, so 1 over that is approaching 0. Approaching 0 from the positive side, so very small positive numbers. To the right of x equals pi over 2, the tangent has negative y values, so the reciprocal is also negative. Tangent has y values approaching negative infinity as x gets close to pi over 2 on the right side. So 1 over that is approaching 0, negative, but approaching 0. Exactly at the point where tangent is not defined, it does not have a reciprocal. But we fill that in with y equals 0 because that's what the reciprocal is approaching on both sides of that point. This gives continuous curves that look rather like the tangent curves turned upside down. This is called the cotangent function. It's written C-O-T-X. Sine, cosine, and tangent, together with their reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, form the six trigonometric functions.